Hi. Today's question is, what is the sound relationship house? That's a great question. You've probably been reading about it as advertised on my podcast descriptions. You've seen it in my resources section of my website, the sound relationship house. So let's take a couple of minutes and talk about that. At this time, I'd like to flash up a picture of the diagram created by Dr. John Gottman of the Gottman Institute. I attended training in 2013 with Dr. John and Julie Gottman, and I'm very impressed by his sound relationship model. I think I've known about the sound relationship model prior to the training that I received, but it really, really encouraged me to incorporate it into my work on marriage. This sound relationship house can apply to everybody. What I like about it is, is that we're going to start off with it, with this podcast, Your Marriage Matters. Probably for the next nine weeks, we will have episodes on some of the various topics of a sound relationship house. Any marriage at any level, level meaning whether you're newlyweds, you've been married eight years, 15 years, 22 years, every marriage could really have uh, create more awareness if you knew about this so sound relationship house. So take a look at those two pillars on the left and right side, trust and commitment. These are so strong. The trust, things you do in your marriage, building trust, maintaining trust, constantly having trust. If you don't have trust in your relationship, you might have a lot of struggles in other areas. Uh, in all areas of your marriage. And the same is true of commitment. To be truly committed and loving of your partner is extremely important. Having a strong commitment. So as you can see, these two are kind of like values, having trust and commitment. What we're going to talk about in the next nine weeks are, you see the different colors. We're going to start on the bottom. Build love maps. Know one another's world. So we're going to spend uh, a podcast on building love maps. Then we're going to move into sharing fondness and admiration. Very important to do that. Sometimes we're unaware of these things. Sometimes we are aware and we're doing, we're doing a good job with them. And sometimes we just need reminders. So I'm hoping that my podcast episodes will kind of serve as reminders, even if you already you know, think you're doing well in these areas. Next level, turn towards instead of away. Turning towards your partner, that, that's going to be a fun episode. The positive perspective. And lots and lots of marriages. When the number one thing people say is, oh, how do you want to improve your marriage? The word communication comes up. Dealing with arguments, dealing with conflict, communication. So we're going to spend at least three episodes on managing conflict. And what I've seen, many marriages do not reach the top two categories, making life dreams come true and then create shared meaning. And we'll definitely talk about those areas. I find that many couples kind of get stuck on this managing conflict, uh, problems, uh, things that annoy each other, just not agreeing, disagreeing, uh, not arguing, uh, well, yes, you can argue well, and listening, and communication. So we're going to spend time on that managing conflict area. So this is the Sound Relationship House, and it's something that we're going to get familiar with as you become loyal listeners of your Marriage Matters podcast. Until next time, make your marriage great.